We have uh, four beautiful children, and our youngest uh, daughter, Hannah, uh, has Down syndrome. And I distinctly remember when we were in the delivery room, uh, the physician came in you know, a few minutes after the delivery and said, I've got something I need to tell you. And that's usually not something you're really excited to hear when you're in the hospital with your wife and, and newborn. And I remember right then, there, and then and there, I had an enormous amount of peace about that entire situation because it was bigger than me. It was overwhelming. I knew it wasn't anything I could handle on my own, and I knew that I could trust God in that situation. My reaction to the news was quite different than John's. <laughs> um, I pretty much was a wreck, but deep down, I did have a peace deep down in um, about it, knowing that I could rely on God for everything we were going to be going through. But it, that didn't show on the outside. <laughs> about two to three months prior to Hannah being born, I was driving into town one day and, and as close as I've ever heard the audible voice of God, he said, do you trust me? And that's pretty scary, at least for me, when God asks, do you trust me? Because you wonder, what does that mean? And over the next two or three months, a series of events um, just happened in my life that caused me to question, did I really trust God? Could I trust him with my hopes and dreams? And so that day when uh, the doctor said, you know, we believe she has Downs, God said, this is what I've been getting you ready for. This is why I asked, do you trust me? I've been preparing you for this. All our kids' future is unknown, and we have to trust God even with our other children and their future. Um, we just, I just had to come to the terms I needed to trust God with her future too, even though it might not be what I thought it was going to be. And in the hospital, we named her Hannah Joy, which was a step in faith because we certainly... Um, for Hannah, we weren't like Hannah in the Bible asking for another child. We were actually done having children and, <laughs> of course, joy. I certainly was not feeling any joy in the hospital at all, but now we can say that definitely I would ask God for her and she brings us so much joy. You know, I worry about little things at, at work and I worry about uh, car trouble and you know, stress when you're driving and all these silly things, but rarely do I worry about my daughter and her future, which you would think would be something that could be consuming if you're not careful, but I don't. I just trust God. He's got his hand in it.